these women in the town of Atma in northwestern Syria hope every stitch might bring them some income. They're among at least a million people displaced by the war who are living in 10 cities in what is considered the largest community of displaced people in the country. Mariam opened this workshop for women in her community two months ago. With few resources, Mariam and her friends make traditional dresses from fabric that's been donated. They're seeking support from NGOs so more women can join them, especially those who lost their husbands. We launched this project because there are many widows around here. We all need to work to provide for our families, but we don't have the opportunities here except for knitting at home and selling our work. That's why we try to include as many women as we can. Mariam's husband died in an accident five years ago that left her depending on whatever help she could get and raising her three children alone. Others are grateful for the hope she's given them. I have seven children and my husband doesn't have a job. We learn how to sew here from Meriam, now hoping to make a life of our own. If the province is the last rebel health area in Syria with a population of nearly four million people and unemployment is ripe. The Turkish lira is used as the main currency, but a collapse in its value is making daily life harder, with the cost of living rising fast. The people who live here tell us their lives have been calmer for the past two years with fewer bomb and rocket attacks. But the latest battle they face is the rising food prices in the markets. Two years ago, the local authorities switched from using the Syrian pound to the Turkish lira to avoid any collapse in the war-torn region's fragile economy. Everybody eyes the exchange rates. You ask for a bunch of parsley, they say, let me check the dollar price. People don't have mercy on each other. As the wholesalers raise the prices, so do I. I make little profit because many people can barely buy a packet of bread. Some displaced people here have been uprooted several times, and starting over has become routine. And many say they need international support now if they are to cope with the dire conditions they live in. Sinam Kazolo, Al Jazeera, Atma, Idlib, Northwest Syria.